so it looks like the next patch for the game is going to be delayed, and that's kind of a bummer, but I hope everyone at Mahoyo uh, is okay, and all of their families are okay. And to be honest, they've been smashing it with these updates. So much great content, it's been awesome. But there's some things that just make me really wonder, like, wh why the heck is it still like this? How is this not being fixed yet? And I think, look, if patch 2.7 is going to be delayed for about 3 weeks, how about we think of some things that could be changed when Mahoyo gets back into the offices and begins working again. Look, the first thing that I'm very confused about is Seiyu. Now, Seiyu has been released for 8 months now. In that time, I've been writing every single time in the Genshin Impact survey just one little thing. Please, oh please, can you just fix her role so that it doesn't get stuck on the smallest little thing? And secondly, alternative sprints are just the same, like Mona's and Ayaka's. People have been crying out for this change for months. We can walk and we can sprint just fine over any obstacle. But if we dare go into Mona's alternate sprint, we suddenly get stuck on the smallest of rocks and pebbles and geometry on the earth? It's frustrating, especially when the fix is so simple. There's no doubt in my mind that the developers of Genshin Impact could easily change this in a second. Now Genshin Impact is made in Unity, and I guarantee you they have uh, variables and all sorts of different little dials and knobs that they can adjust and change so that alternate sprints and rolls act exactly the same as just normal sprinting. Therefore, they're not going to be stuck. I mean, look at this footage from Tower of Fantasy, for example. They have this awesome, cool-looking bike. And, you know, it looks super stupid when it goes over rocks. <laughs> look, look, it's jittering up and down like crazy. That is stupid. But man, I would rather that than Seiyu, Mona, or Ayaka getting stuck on small little rocks every time I try to use them. Now Genshin Impact is going to have a lot more characters in the future with these types of movement abilities and alternate sprints. So hey, come on, you might as well fix this now, don't you think, before you go ahead and make another bunch of characters with exactly the same problem. Otherwise, you're just going to have to fix them as well. Also, this might just be a me thing, but it would be cool if Seiyu could just roll off cliffs. Now the second thing I kind of want to rant about is that we have a decent amount of temporary gameplay events and I love them, they're great. I didn't even mind the flower arrangement one, it was kind of interesting. But we need more permanent gameplay events. The only thing we have to look forward to is the Spiral Abyss and big content patches such as the Kaza. But what we desperately need is new commissions and more random quests on the overworld. If the end game is all about doing commissions every day and using our resin, then why does Mondstadt, for example, only have around 40 different commissions? And out of those 40, most of them are super rare, so you're only really doing the same ones every day. It gets boring, to be frank. More permanent gameplay events, and also a commission RNG rework would be very welcome. Because I know, adding more commissions to the game is going to make getting commissions that have an achievement linked to them much harder to achieve. But Mahoyo shouldn't make these achievements less rare anyway. Look, I've played for more than 400 days, for example. So let's say I've completed four commissions a day, making about 1,600 commissions completed. And yet, players like me are still missing achievement commissions, such as the Reliable Helper achievement in Mondstadt. They need to increase the RNG so that these commissions just show up a little bit more frequently. Now moving on, another thing that I'm very surprised hasn't changed, especially since this is also a super easy thing to fix. Can someone please explain to me why jump is still the button we use to get out of CC, such as freezes and bubbles? It makes no sense. We've been complaining about this since the beginning of the game too. Everybody, myself included, just finds it frustrating when we get CC'd and we spam the jump button, which by the way doesn't really seem to be doing much for me. It seems like the duration I'm frozen for, or in the bubble for, is the same regardless of how much I spam the jump button, but that regardless. We spam that jump button, and then without fail, we always jump one time too much, and then we end up just... it sucks. And you know, the funny thing is, all they have to do is add in key bindings, uh, rebinding some of the buttons that we use. Just add an option in the settings, instead of jump, we can use a different button. We could rebind every single button we wanted to, Mahoyo could easily give us this option. You want to use 
the T button for interact instead of F? Sure, that's easily doable. And I feel this would be a huge positive quality of life buff for the game. Another positive buff to the game would be mixing up the standard banner characters. They are still the same and it's getting kind of boring now. Like I, t I kind of don't even want to roll on the standard banner because I get, you know, one of five characters or a couple of weapons, right? I get Diluc, Mona, Jean, Chichi, or Ketchen. And these are all great characters, but they're just not exciting anymore for players like me who have played the game for a long time. I think over time, special banner characters could be introduced to the standard banner. I'm actually holding some of my standard banner roles at the moment, just hoping that they might rework it a little bit. My last point is sort of the same as the last point. The battle pass weapons are also still the same and they haven't changed since the beginning of the game. That's also kind of boring. But I know it would kind of suck for players if they were removed from the game and they never had a chance to get them. So what I would just simply suggest is that another five brand new unique items were also added to the pool. So now instead of choosing one of five weapons, you have a choice of one out of 10 weapons, five brand new unique weapons to the battle pass. Now this would not only be a great change for us players, because we get new items to play with and mess around with, but it's also gonna be great for Mahoya because that would actually get them more people buying into the battle pass. So I think that one is definitely a no brainer. Anyway, I'm sure there's tons of more things that would be great to change about the game. But let me know what you guys think. Or maybe let me know if you don't agree with me. Do you think commissions are fine just the way they are? Because I know for a fact some people out there are probably thinking to themselves, please don't change the achievement commissions. I've worked so hard to achieve them all. I don't want them becoming easier for other players. And you know what? I sort of agree with that selfishness. I don't blame you for thinking that. I also think it's kind of frustrating when uh, hard achievements like that become easier because then it kind of, it's disappointing for people that worked hard or were lucky enough to get it. And you could be right, I could be wrong. Let me know what you guys think.